guys, it's so early. It's 4.36 in the morning, and I have to start getting ready to go. Because we're gonna go on vacation, which I'm super excited about. But I have to wake up super early. So come with me as I get ready. I'm gonna go finish getting ready and then I'll come back and record. So, yeah. Guys, it's 5 30 and we're already driving. Can't even see Cooper. It's so dark. first stop for the morning statue of dignity and it's very beautiful so it says it was a gift to the state of south dakota in 2014 to honor the 125th anniversary of south dakota um overlooks the missouri river and it's 15 feet tall 50 feet tall um yeah it's super cool I'm gonna go show you guys some pictures and I'm gonna try not to step in the mud. It's actually so tall, like I can't fit all of it in frame. So we are now at 
little prairie rock. Little Bighorn Mon Battlefield. National Monument. And Cooper got us in for free. Thank you, Cooper, with his fourth grade pass. And then there's also like a cemetery over there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's kind of creepy. But yeah, we're gonna like walk around and I'm gonna record it. Okay, so we were all supposed to tell one thing that we learned. I learned that this battle, well the settlers came here because of all the rich minerals and stuff, and then they said find the Native Americans because they both wanted out the land. Every gun has fingerprints. What does that mean? It means, so I, even if a gun, I mean. Oh, so talk so, to the camera. <laughs> oh, um, so there's, fingerprints on every gun even though if it's never been used all right so i learned that the average or the youngest white man to die was 17 the oldest to die was 56. i learned that the average age of the native american that was in battle was 22. i learned that ulysses s grant was the president who ordered the native americans off of this land and then back into their reservation. And I also learned lastly that Sitting Bull, who was the chief in charge of the battle, he escaped, he lived during the battle, um, but escaped after the battle to Canada, lived there for about five or six years and then came back to the United States and was arrested and then later died um, and is now buried in Mulbridge, South Dakota. So that is what I learned. There's a few things I'd like to point out. Um, first off, that cemetery, we're, we're realizing now that it probably was just a cemetery because some of the people were born like way after the war. Um, but then if you walk up a little bit at the very top of the hill, there's like this big monument thing. I think that's all the soldiers that were killed. They couldn't find the bodies or something. Um, but then the picture, the video you just saw was there's gravestones literally everywhere, and it's kind of sad to look at. Um, but yeah, there's gravestones everywhere, probably where they found that person. It's kind of sad, but I guess when you come here, you can kind of picture it. But yeah. Cooper, you have anything you would like to say about this place? It was a pretty nice car back there. It was blue. 260 soldiers and less than 100 Native Americans. So yeah, 260 soldiers, American soldiers died, and then um, less than 100 Native Americans died. So the Native Americans won this battle. Guys, after like 11 hours of driving, we're finally here. We're at a hotel. Oh, there's a Dodge Charger and a 78 Mustang. Okay, you have an obsession with cars. So now we're gonna go inside the hotel, get everything set up, and then we're gonna get Pizza Hut for dinner because that is good. Okay, so now we're back outside because it just so happens that we forgot sandwiches and stuff to make them. You're literally so bad at this. Give me the camera. We're getting grapes. All right, lunch meat. So you gotta, you gotta bend it like that, and then you just get it. Like, 
bad. <laughs> that hurts to self defense lessons with Cooper. That's how you kill. He's scary. I'm Drew Brees. Awesome, great impression. Gord under pressure. Okay. That was disgusting. Okay, Cooper, Drew, you're there. Truth. Oh, you're so no, you're no fun. Um, who was your first crush? Your friend? Oh yeah. He already told me that. Okay, my turn. Go. Dare again. Just don't make it too bad. There's not a lot we can do. We're no, I'm not licking your shoe. I don't know what you stepped in. Okay, give me, fine, fine, fine. Give me your shoe. Is open. I can hold it. No, no, no. I can hold it. I, I will hold it. Or I'm not doing it. Oh, that is so bad. Okay. Okay, Cooper, truth or dare. I dare you. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I dare you. I dare you to chug the rest of this. Okay. I got this. In less than a second. It was empty. <laughs> I'm, I'm just too nice. I'm scared when you're saying true. Is it true that he would have a crush on Jackson and Cody? No, it's yeah, not it true. Dude, it's <laughs> not true. So if you see this, I'm sorry he said that. It's not true. Truth or dare? It is. Oh, uh, dare. <coughs> I dare you to go stand out in the parking lot with your them like this, like, give me a ride. Okay, let's, okay, I'm gonna get this in. I'm gonna record this. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Day two will be out soon. Bye.